Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm out in Daytona, Florida, and I want to show you a brand new product from IWI. What I have on the table in front of me is the new Galil Ace. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about this rifle, and the answer to those questions is yes, it's coming to the U.S. market. The next question is obviously when will it be coming to the U.S. market, and we're looking at around February, so it's just a couple months out. Right after SHOT Show, you should start seeing the new Galil Ace appearing on your, on your shelves. Now the Ace is a modernized Galil, hence Galil Ace. It has a number of different features. Now, the original Galils were imported in the 80s. They got the, the import shut off in like 1989. They started to come back in in 1990, but having uh, that importation stop around 1993. So we haven't seen these guns on the US market for quite some time. The reintroduction of the Galil Ace means that it's coming to market with a bunch of new features because the Israelis didn't stop developing the, the Galil. They kept modernizing the rifle and improving upon the rifle. Some of the features you'll notice is a monolithic 1913 rail across the top. It still has the Galil top cover, which means you can push a button back here, disassemble it just like a standard AK. The rifle has a side folding hinge system on it with an adjustable length of pull. Let me see if I can get this undone there. So you can adjust the length of pull. And then it has a cheek comb if you're gonna run optics. This just snaps on, it does not adjust up and down, it just clips onto the rear of the stock. The rifle also features a left-hand charging. If you remember the original Galil, it had an upturned charging handle on the bolt carrier itself. That's now changed. We have a left-hand charging system, which is what's kind of unique about that, is that as the charging handle goes back, it does reciprocate, but as it does so, it has a cover that covers the port. So this is, in essence, an AK that is completely sealed and no longer has the opening on the right-hand side that would allow the ingress of, of dirt and other debris. Moving forward, we have a, a tri-rail system here on the handguard, you can take the rail covers off by pushing a button and just slides off so you have a 1913 rail. Now again, that's in three positions around the handguard. Another unique feature of the ACE is the fact that you have a cut here in the rail system that allows you to put a pressure switch in there for a light source. Once you have the pressure switch mounted in this recess, <clears throat> you can slide the cover back over and you have access to that pressure switch through the rail cover has adjustable elevation front sight with metal ears and of course has a 16 inch barrel. The rifle again with the left hand charging also has ambidextrous controls on the safety lever or the selector lever. You can operate it like a traditional AK although it's a somewhat of an abbreviated lever. But over here on the right hand side you have a switch that you can easily manipulate to select between fire and safe. It's still a machine receiver gun but it has a polymer lower. They've reduced the weight of the rifle. It's right around eight pounds. Now another thing that's really cool is this rifle will be coming to market sometime after February. In February, you can expect to see a pistol. Now this is an SBR, this does have an adjustable stock, so imagine this isn't here. So you'll have a pistol that comes to market. Now it's not just going to be any old pistol because they're also going to bring it to market with a side folding SB15 brace system on it. So you'll, have, you'll be able to side fold, in essence, a brace which is intended for your forearm, however legally it can be shouldered. The barrel on this is 8.3 inches long. Now, what I haven't told you is the caliber of these two firearms, the pistol and the rifle. They're both 7.62 by 39, and they use standard AK magazines, metal or polymer magazines, like the PMAG. To my understanding, they'll actually ship with the PMAGs. So again, these should be available, the pistol should be available in February, right after SHOT Show, and about a month later, we'll see the rifles appear on the market with the 16 inch barrel. Now you guys are gonna ask me what the price is. I haven't been given a solid number on the price, that's still being worked out, but you can expect the price of these firearms to be less than the Tavor that's currently on the market. So if you wanna find out more information about this, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. You can also find IWI on the internet. I'll put a link to their website down below and their Facebook page. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon.